Hey guys, Team Fail here, bringing you a video about Bouncing Betties, why I think they're the best lethal, how to use them effectively, and how to not get killed by them. I believe that these are the best lethals in the game for three main reasons. One, you could place them, forget about them, and let them do their own work. This will help you kill campers, clear out rooms, and even protect objectives. My second favorite thing about this is the blast radius. So from my observations, the blast radius seems to be around 2 to 2.5 two meters. That's about 6.5 to 8 feet. And that is a lot. So what this allows you to do is place in strategic places that people will come into that lethal range and will get killed by. So that leads to my third favorite thing, which is the lethality of these. They are very lethal. They are one-shot kills within their blast radius for the most part, unless somebody is using flak jacket. But once in a while, you will get hit markers, but it is not as frequent as it would be if you were using grenades. Right there, you can see that guy is very far away and still one-shot kill him. But now, I will let you guys know how to use these effectively and how to stop people from killing you with them. The most effective way to use these is to put them in spots where people will be running without really paying attention to what they are doing. So this includes things like corridors, doors, objectives, and care packages. They are the most effective places that I find to put these. So if you put them around a doorway and somebody comes running through the door, they're not really paying attention, and as soon as they come close to the door, the thing will start blowing up, which means that by the time they get to the door, it will blow up. And that will allow them to not be able to hear or see it in time to react. But by far the best place to place a bouncing betty would be in a camping spot, because most people who are camping aren't really paying attention to anything but trying to get a bunch of kills. So you can place this in window sills and other side passages that a camper might stay and try to camp out. They may even place their own bouncing betty while backing up into yours, which is very hilarious. So if you are playing against a team that likes to camp a lot, this is a very good strategy to use to try to avoid getting killed over and over by the same camper. You can even do something that I enjoy doing, which is throwing bouncing bettys through windows and killing people. So try that out and see how that works for you. Now I'll let you know how to survive getting killed by these bouncing betties. The first step in surviving a bouncing betty is knowing what a bouncing betty does. So what a bouncing betty does is it jumps up and explodes at head level. So players who are prone or crouched will not get hit by the bouncing betty unless the bouncing betty is on a different plane than the player. So this means if the bouncing betty is on a ledge or on stairs, there is a chance that the bouncing betty could either miss or hit a player, depending on the plane. So if it is on a higher plane, there is a chance that a standing player will not get hit by the bouncing betty. And on the opposite of that, if it is on a lower stair and you are going down the stairs, there is a chance that even going prone will not save you from the bouncing betty. Another way to survive the bouncing betty is to use a riot shield. It will bounce up and knock and kill you at head level, seeing as how the riot shield will take the blast. Well, now that you guys are experts on bouncing bettys, I hope you guys enjoy this footage of me playing some TDM on raid. I go 28 and 10, and I believe 14 of those kills are bouncing bettys because I was trying to get footage for this. I did not in fact count it but it seemed to be that way either 13 or 14 somewhere around that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please share it with your friends and other people who you believe will enjoy it and I hope you guys use this to your advantage before they nerf bouncing betties because I'm sure that will be coming and I hope you guys check out Jet Blast Gaming which is in the underbar and make sure you guys rate, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys later.
explosive. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Move it! Shot out. Stand by. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. It's hot. Waypoint out. Got it. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. down. has been destroyed. Online. 